Garoppolo. Please fire Sandy Brondello. I mean, what a joke. What an absolute joke. I've never seen more pathetic women in my life, right? These are not the women that you would want to go to war with, like a real war. You don't want these women next to you, okay? These women are horrible, just sorry women. These are sorrible, sorry, sorry women. This is absolutely pathetic. A closeout game at home, they're missing four to five players, Las Vegas, and you're about to lose this game. You're bricking damn near every shot you throw up. You are playing sloppy. You are playing like you never prepared for this game. You got over 17,000 people in attendance. Most of America is watching tonight because the only thing that's on is MLB baseball and some uh, uh, re small, tiny little college football game. So everyone is watching this. All these famous people in attendance, and this is how you play, right? You made women's basketball look bad, but it's really both teams. These are supposed to be professional women's basketball players, the pinnacle of the sport, the highest that you can get. This is the finals, and they're breaking all of these shots, including the aces. Kayla George is 3 of 10 or 3 of 11. Like, all of these women missing these shots, the... Freaking New York Liberty can't make a shot. They're breaking all of these shots, miscues, turnovers. Sabrina Unescu looks so damn unathletic. She looks so unathletic. It is absolutely pathetic. Okay, if, if, if listen, if Sabrina isn't coming off of a screen, Sabrina Unescu, she has to come off of a screen or somehow get a mismatch with a big on her. And that's the only way she looks really impressive like that. Like she looks so unathletic, no wiggle, no agility, no crossover moves. Like it, 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 this is just pathetic. Sabrina looks so damn pathetic, right? Courtney Vandersloot still not shooting these wide open threes. Brianna Stewart looking like she ready to give up and go play with her little baby and chill with her little Russian wife. Okay, she bricking everything. John Quo Jones looking like the flat John Quo Jones that she always is when she was with the Connecticut Sun and the biggest game with the Connecticut Sun. Some mostly John Quo Jones comes up flat and short. Elimination game, she normally come up short. Right. It's looking like the same thing. Maureen Johan is looking stupid for two games in a row, not getting nothing done. Sandy Brondello with a poor adjustments, looking like she didn't prepare this team. Right. Once again, the fans of New York got to suffer and, and, and deal and hope that the Knicks could win another championship since the 70s. Like this is a joke, y'all. This is this set women's basketball back 30 years. What you see tonight, all of the naysayers, all of the haters, right? All of the naysayers, all of the haters, they're looking at this and they're saying, now you see why I don't watch women's basketball? This is absolute trash, y'all. Like this is terrible basketball, bricks after bricks after bricks, turnovers, right? Like just nothing. Passing up good shots. I mean, this is just bad basketball, y'all. Right? Like, y'all supposed to be professionals, the elite. Like, you see her trying to get a foul? Like, Brianna Stewart been doing that all year. She doesn't shoot to score first. She shoots to try to get a foul. Right? Like, I'm so sick of her doing this. She been doing this all year. She'll drive and shoot or do a layup and she's trying to get a foul instead of trying to score, right? Like, like this is, a, look at that. Look at that wide open shot from Kayla George and she bricks it, right? Like, this is just bad basketball. They set women's basketball. Like, salute to the haters. Salute to every WNBA troll. Salute to all of you women's basketball trolls. You are validated tonight. 
You are absolutely validated tonight. All of y'all who told these women to go back into the kitchen. All of y'all who told these women, go make me a damn sandwich. All of y'all who told these women, go do my laundry. Y'all are validated tonight. This, this is the worst basketball that I've witnessed since I've watched ESPN Plus and watched Division Three of these two trash Division Three teams play, and they was bricking everything and turning the ball over. This is this is like watching Campbell versus uh, freaking Iona. This, this reminds me of Campbell versus Iona on the ESPN Plus app, right? This is just that bad. This is Iona versus Campbell on the ESPN Plus app. This is absolutely trash, y'all. I don't even care that it's not over with yet. This is a loss. This is a loss for women's basketball, right? You got all of these hip hop artists in attendance that ESPN didn't focus on. Did y'all see Jim Jones and Dipset and all of these big time New York rappers sitting courtside? Stephen A. Smith courtside, Don Staley, Issa Rae, you name it. Everyone in the house. There isn't anything good on TV tonight except for the Houston Astros looking like they about to win another World Series. Ain't nobody watching baseball. I love baseball. That's God's favorite sport, but ain't nobody watching baseball right now, right? This is it right here, and this is how you play? This is how you play, right? Like, this is trash, y'all. This is, And these women are playing like they, like they never prepared for this game. They, they are literally playing like they never prepared for this game, like they didn't even practice. I hate that the fans of New York got to go through this, right? I hate it. And then what's also sad, y'all could have won the championship on your home floor had you won at least one of those games in Vegas, but they played like trash in Las Vegas. And now you got to go back to Vegas. Kia Stokes probably will play that game. I believe Candace Parker will play that game too. Because if the Aces lose tonight, they, they're going to have to play Candace Parker because Kayla George is a joke. Kayla George, and that's so sad because, yeah, that's so sad because Kayla George is lights out overseas in Australia, but she come over here to America, she look like trash, man. Like, look, look at Sabrina Unesco. She has no crossover moves, y'all. Like, Sabrina only looks good if she's isolated against a slow big, right? If, if Sabrina is isolated against an unathletic slow big, she'll look great. But she has no athleticism. Like, look at that. Look, look at Stewie. Stewie, like, I swear to God, y'all. Like, there was no need for Sabrina to throw up that shot. Reset. Reset. Gather yourself. Right. Like she make these splash plays with these deep threes and, and, and everyone is supposed to believe that she's some preem, some supreme score. Sabrina Unesco, her, look, look at that chick. Ain't no way Sidney Colson should be in this league. Look, y'all. Look, listen, y'all. Sabrina, listen, Sabrina Unesco is a good passer and she's a good rebounder and she's a really good three point shooter. But it, but if you defend her, there is she she can only score off of a screen. That's it, right? She has no crossover moves. She is unathletic. She is as plain as it gets. She has no adjustment layups. She looks so robotic and rigid. It is it is a joke. It is an absolute joke. Now she can rebound. I'll give her that, and she can get you some assists. Right. And she can shoot some deep threes. But if you guard her straight up and you're a good defender, you have to set a screen or she's going to look terrible, terrible. Right. Courtney Vandersloot just straight robbed them like she took that money and just straight up robbed them. Y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Just robbed them. Like, I swear to God, boy, this like like. And look, I'm, I'm upset for, for what they for what they're doing to women's basketball. That's what's that's what's upsetting me. What they've done to women's basketball, y'all. Women's basketball took a nasty hit tonight. I mean, it took a nasty hit tonight, y'all. 
Look at that. Like, look, like, like, I swear, dog, look how sloppy this is. Look how sloppy. These women are about to be embarrassed on their own whole court. And Home, home, home court, and then y'all gonna look at the shooting percentages, the field goal and three point percentages, and be like, damn. Y'all gonna look at the turnovers and be like, damn, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy, right? Sandy Brondello is a terrible coach. Like, how many, how many players do you need, Sandy? How many bona fide Hall of Famers do you need on the team in order for you to look good? Sandy only looked good coaching a Phoenix Mercury because she had a loaded roster with future Hall of Famers, right? As soon as you take away them Hall of Famers off that roster, Sandy looked like trash. Sandy last year coaching the New York Liberty, she couldn't even get them into the playoffs. I don't believe the Liberty made the playoffs last season, if I'm not mistaken. Like, Walt Hopkins got the Liberty into the playoffs with a much less talented roster than Sandy had last year. But they fired they fire Walt Hopkins because they wanted a big name to put more people in the seats. They wanted a big name to market the New York Liberty. So they fired this man who got a lesser talented roster to the, to the playoffs. And you bring in Sandy Brondello, who is way past her prime. She was never a good coach. She was only a good coach because she had Hall of Fame talent. She's like Pokey Chapman. Pokey Chapman was only a good coach because she had Hall of Fame talent on the Chicago sky. As soon as Sylvia Fowles and Elena Deladon left, Pokey was trash. She comes to the Indiana Fever. She don't have any Hall of Fame talent. Pokey trash. She, she's assistant coaching with Noel Quinn with only one Hall of Famer on the team, Pokey Trash. She can't even help Noel Quinn get these players right. And y'all want Pokey to be coaching a Phoenix Mercury? Stop playing with me. Right? Like, like y'all got to realize, like, when these coaches aren't any good. If Listen, if you can't do what Cheryl Reeve did to the Minnesota Lynx with that trash roster that Cheryl Reeve had, you're not a good coach. You're not a good coach. You are not a good coach. Okay? If you can't, if, if you can't do what Vanessa Nygaard did last year with that trash Phoenix Mercury roster with all of those injuries and missing players and still make the playoffs, you are a trash head coach. If you can't do what Tanisha Wright did, right, with these two trash rosters two years in a row, now, obviously, didn't uh, didn't make the playoffs. Well, I believe they made the playoffs this year, but last year they didn't make the playoffs, right? But they still had a damn good uh, record, right? Considering that this was her first time ever being a head coach with that horrible roster, right? Like, you're not a good coach. If you need Hall of Fame talent, a super team, an ultimate team, a freaking Olympic team in order for you to look good like a head coach, you're not a good head coach. Everything you've done is inflated. It's exaggerated. I don't buy it. I don't believe it. You understand? Now, what's making Becky look impressive is that her roster is decimated. She's in hostile territory in New York City. Everything is on the line, right? And, and Becky got these women playing better than the New York Liberty. All right, so the refs, you got to call that call. You got to call that call. But yeah, but still like Kayla Jordan, like the, even, even the aces are breaking these shots. Like Asia, Asia's stepping up this game, but Asia was trash last game, but at least she's stepping up this game. Like this is just, look, look at that. That's a push off. They didn't even call that. She pushed off and extended. Y'all seen Jackie Young push off and extended? Like that's crazy. That's cr look, look at that. Look at that. Just sloppy airhead, y'all. Just the airhead. Just the ab. Like Jackie Young clearly pushed her off, but the referees didn't call it. I just think I just think the referees want to get this over with. Now you would think that they would want to go to a game five because that's another game check. That's another game check for the referees, but. Like she she totally pushed her off. Now now they call that one. She completely threw her with her right hand. And I wonder if ESPN is gonna go back to that replay. Okay, so they're gonna go back to this one, and that's not a foul. 
That's not a foul, but they don't want to go back to her last shot. Watch this. Push off. Look at this. See that? Just threw her. Total extension. Total extension, but they didn't want to call that. Right? Like, th this is when watching these games is so terrible, y'all. The referees corrupt terrible. These players are playing like trash. Straight up garbage. This is ugly, nasty basketball, y'all. Just nasty basketball. Please fire Sandy Brondello, y'all. There is no, there is like, who, who do you bring in next year? Who do you bring in? Look at him laughing on the bench. Sandy is a joke. And it, it's clear that Stewie shouldn't have won MVP. That, that MVP should have went to Alyssa Thomas. Like, now Asia Wilson is looking validated. Like, damn, Asia should have won an MVP because Stewie can't, Stewie looking like trash. Look at that. You can't even make a wide open three. You can't even make a wide open three. Stewie trash, y'all. Stewie so trash, y'all. See, she's so trash. This is a joke. This is a joke, man. This is a joke. Asia about to get this foul call. Look at that. It's over with. Game over with. I told y'all. I knew what I was talking about. Don Staley in the house. It's two days in a row, two days in a row, two days in a row. This game over with. Ace is about to celebrate, right? They don't want to take this thing back to, back to Las Vegas because they still won't have Chelsea Gray. They still won't have Kia, Kia Stokes, okay, right? I don't think Candace Parker is playing. You're not bringing back Raquana Williams, right? Like... This is just bad. Like, Sandy, you got to fire Sandy. You have to fire Sandy Brondello. What's the excuse? Who are you going to bring in? Who are you? Like, and Sandy goofed up because she mistreated Han Shu so bad. She mistreated Han Shu so bad. Even when Stephanie Dolson was injured and Han Shu was available, she wouldn't give Han Shu any minutes. It took the New York Liberty fans yelling Han Shu name, put Han in, put Han in for her to put Han in the game. So Han gave up and said, I'm going back home. You, you missing out on a six foot 10, three level score right now, right? Cause you didn't give a damn about Han Shu. Cause she, she thought, I don't need Han Shu. I got John Quill Jones now. Like this is a joke y'all. This is a joke. Listen to me, y'all. Like, you got to fire Sandy Brondello. Because who else are you going to bring in? Are you going to try to bring in Alyssa Thomas on your team? You going to try to get Maya Moore from retirement and make Maya Moore get back in basketball shape? Like, like what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You understand what I'm saying? Like, are you going to have, are you going to bring in Ali Quigley next season to go with Courtney Vandersloot? Right, you're gonna try to make a trade and get Neka Gumake on your team. Like, 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 come on, what are we talking about here? You're gonna call Sue Bird from retirement and let Sue Bird be your backup point guard. Like, what are we doing here? Like, how much help do you need, Sandy? How much help do you need? Get that to Sabrina. That was so stupid. Look at that. No crossover moves. No crossover moves. Look at that. Look at that, just vanilla. She made it, but she's so vanilla, y'all. Y'all see how vanilla Stewie, I mean, Sabrina Unescu is? Right? No snatchback. No snatchback. Right? She should have did a snatchback, behind the back snatchback, right? She would have all that space wide open. <laughs> Sabrina is so stiff. She, and, and, like, we saw her trying to twerk, too, in the freaking... um. When, when they was, well, it was like one of them games and they all huddled up in the hallway and she trying to twerk like, that chick is so stiff, y'all. That chick is so stiff. She better be thankful she a woman and all she got to do is lay in bed and let her dude beat it in. Because if she were a dude, like if she were a dude trying to have sex with a woman, that woman will leave Sabrina Unesco because she have no movement in her hips. She, like, she got no rhythm, no movement. All she doing is straight, basic strokes. 
Sabrina, if Sabrina Desku was a dude, she'd be so lame in bed, y'all. Because she can't move. That shit can't do nothing. That shit can't do nothing, y'all. She better be thankful she a chick and all she got to do is just lay there and let her dude beat it in. Like, that's it. Like, that chick would be so lame in bed if she was a dude. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Damn, son. Goodness gracious, boy. I think that's stupid. Like, you need to get a ball to Asia Wilson because Asia going to get that foul. Don't foul her. They look, they're looking for a foul. They're looking for you to bail them out. What is that? Oh, she called a timeout. It's three seconds on the clock, boy. These people, I swear to God. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This is so bad for women's basketball, and y'all know it, too. That, like, wh why don't y'all go to the WNBA app right now and look at the freaking three-point percentages and the field goal percentages for both of these teams? Look at the turnovers, too. It's so bad, y'all. This is so bad, y'all. Right? You understand? This is so bad. Damn, what's going on right now? Yeah, this... this what is this? Why is this thing just going back and forth, back and forth like that? Y'all see this? <laughs> oh, no, man. Hold on. Let, let me pause this. This thing just skipped. All right, we back. I don't know what the hell was going on with YouTube. Yeah. yeah this is so bad. You got 16 seconds left. You bet not pee on yourself. You bet not pee on yourself. You better not, pee. like, why wouldn't you drive? And she calling a timeout. You got 8.8 .8 seconds. You bet not pee on yourself. Y'all, if Sandy loses this game, Sandy should be fired. Her and her husband should be fired, fired. This is when Asia was supposed to put up a baby hook. Right here, right here, boom. Throw, throw up a little baby hook. She trying to go up with two hands and shoot it. No, throw up a little baby hook. She trying to go up with two hands and shoot it. No, you got to throw. You got to throw up a baby hook with the right hand. You pump fake, go up with a little quick little baby hook. A baby hook with the right hand. You pump fake, go up with a little quick little baby hook, man. Like, like, no, 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 it, no, no, no. This is not about being fouled. The referees aren't going to give her that because they didn't give they didn't give the New York Liberty that push off. When Jackie Young threw her, uh, threw the player off of her, uh, Benai Jelani. So, like, we're not doing that, right? The referee's not going to give her that. Asia is supposed to throw up a baby hook. The Asia don't have hook shots. You understand? She don't got hook shots. Like, she got to get some more stuff to her game. She got, like, Asia got a mid-range. She finally developed her nice little step back. Asia now can take you off the dribble and attack the rim, Okay. Asia now is, is making her three-point shots. The thing about Asia Wilson is that down low, she don't got a variety of shots shots down low. You understand? Like, that's like, at that point, you got to throw up a right hook. You got to throw up a freaking right hook. You understand what I'm saying? You got to throw up a right hook. What's up, uh, RC Drift? Chaser, yeah, yeah. When, when I'm done with this, I'll subscribe back to you. Yeah, yeah, like, Asia got to throw up a hook shot. You got to throw up a baby hook. You understand what I'm saying, right? So she still got some more stuff she need to add to her game. Left hook, right hook, and then you need a baby hook, right? You got three different type of hook shots. Asia don't got none of them, so she need a hook shot. But at that point, she need to throw up a baby hook. You understand what I'm saying? Don't pee in the bed. Don't pee on yourself. Don't pee on yourself. You got seven seconds. Don't pee on yourself, Stewie. Don't pee on yourself. Oh, they peed on they self. They peed on they self. They peed on, oh my gosh, they peed on themselves, y'all. They peed on themselves. They peed on themselves. They peed in their pants. Pathetic. Go, go ahead and get Becky your raise. Get Becky a raise. Get Becky a raise, y'all. Go on and give Becky a raise. Them chicks peed on themselves. And I feel so sad for New York because the New York Liberty will never make it back again. Like, they're done. They're not going back to the finals ever again. Probably for another, 
what, 20 something years. It's over with for the Liberty. Like when you have opportunities like this, you got to seize it. You have to seize it when you have opportunities like this. God gave you a gift. God gave you a gift. He said, I'm going to punish Becky Hammond for what she did to Derek and Hamby. I'm going to injure two of your players. I'm going to wipe out two of your main pieces. Here, here, New York, take it. Take it, New York, and New York couldn't take it. God gave them a gift, and, 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 and they told God, we don't want this gift from you. God gave the New York Liberty a gift, and, and New York Liberty said, we don't want this, God. We straight. Like, if, if you can't see that God was trying to look out for the New York Liberty, then you are clearly blind, and you have no connection to the creator. God injured Chelsea Gray and injured Kia Stokes the next day in practice. God injured Kelsey, uh, Chelsea Gray and injured Kia Stokes the next day in practice. Right? You don't. He took away Candace Parker. Raquana Williams choked and strangled her girlfriend. Right? You are left with that roster and you lost. Nah, this ain't about execution. This is about them women being lame. Ain't about no execution. It's about them being a bunch of lames, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness, man. Like, what a joke. What a joke. What a joke. Them chicks so lame. And then, and then they made white women look lame, too. And you're like, 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 hold up. Like, let me break this down, y'all. Let me break this down, man. They made white women look lame. All y'all white fans at home, y'all should y'all should get on Twitter right now. Look at Elena Coates. I'm so happy for Elena Coates. That's really the only woman that I like is Elena Coates. Uh, so I'm so happy for Elena Coates. Let me tell y'all something, y'all. All of you white people, y'all need to get on Twitter and y'all need to go cuss out Stewie, Sabrina, and um. Freaking Courtney Vandersloot and Sandy Brondello. They made white and, and, and also freaking Stephanie Dolson and Maureen Johannes. They made white people look so bad. They made y'all look lame because y'all was battling damn near 100% white women. I mean, black women. This was black versus white. This was black versus white. Y'all had Stephanie Dolson white, Maureen Johannes white, Sabrina Unescu white, Brianna Stewart white, Courtney Vandersloot white. Right. And you, all five of them look lame today. Y'all going up against black talent, black talent prevailed over these lame white people. Right. Like they like they were they were a terrible representation of white people, of white athletes. So all of you white people, y'all need to go to Twitter and cuss out all of these white players on the New York Liberty. They made y'all look so stupid. They made y'all like, y'all, Sabrina Unesco is so damn stiff. Sabrina Unesco is so damn stiff, y'all. Oh my gosh, that chick is so damn stiff. Damn, y'all. Oh, she's so stiff. That chick's so damn stiff. Stewie shooting, he, like, like Stewie, Stewie need to take a year off. She don't need to go overseas and try to chase that Euro League money. She need to take a year off and let her legs recover. That chick was trash. That chick was absolute trash, boy. Courtney Vandersloot robbed them, y'all. That chick stole money. Courtney Vandersloot knew that she should have took a year off like Allie Quigley, but she was like, damn, I'm about to go get this money real quick. She was like, I'm about to go get this money and play in New York and get me a quick little ring real quick. You understand? Like, that's what she thought. I'm about to go steal this money, get me a quick little ring in New York, and it blew up in her face. It blew up in her face. She was selling the entire series. Hey, man, listen, listen, y'all. Listen, y'all. That, that chick, that chick sold the whole season. She want comp. She sold the whole season. The only person, matter of fact, no one on the Liberty was comp this year. Probably except, look, John Quo Jones, John Quo Jones was selling, right? We're going to use this, this vernacular, right? John Quo Jones was selling at the beginning of the year. And that was because she was playing on 
uh, her foot was broken, so it, it had to heal. Then she played overseas, so she was dead tired. So she was selling at the beginning of the year. Then she she got comp in the damn playoffs. Boom. That's that's John Quayle. Everyone else, like, they were trash the whole year, really, except for Sabrina Unescu, right? And that was it. But in the playoffs, she, listen, she turned up to be this limp, lame, white chick, right? Like, Sabrina brought white people back to when white people didn't have no booties. Like, it, it used to be a time when white women didn't have booties, y'all, when, like, 90-plus percent of all white women had flat booties, when white people couldn't dance, when they couldn't sing like black women, like when white people had no rhythm. and Like like Sabrina brought white people back to them days when all white women had flat booties, when all white women couldn't sing and they couldn't dance and they had no rhythm. That's what Sabrina Unescu did to white women, y'all. Sabrina Unescu did that. To, and Candace Parker just straight stole the ring. Candace Parker played 15 games this year. That chick stole the ring, y'all. That chick got free money. That chick got free money. Oh, 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 so we got new trophies. We got new WNBA trophies this year? Oh, oh, a new design. Okay. Okay, they better thank Kelsey Plum for uh, getting mad at them for them trash, that trash all-star trophy. Oh, they got new trophies. Okay. Y'all see that? So this is the MVP right here. This is the championship. Well, okay, WNBA moving. Okay, I like that. I like that. That's a huge championship trophy. That's a huge championship trophy. I like that. Let me get a close-up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, Smash. They definitely needed a new design. Aces got lucky because of the... Nah, 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 Andrew. A Aces didn't get lucky. Stewie was trash. S Sabrina was trash. Courtney was trash. Jonquil Jones was trash. Benijah Laney was trash. Stephanie Dolson was trash. Maureen Johannes was trash. Sandy Brondello was trash. Right? End of discussion. That's how they win. Ain't, ain't nobody get lucky. Uh-oh, let me get a close-up. Oh, they finally got a new trophy after all of these years. Finally. Y'all already know the MVP going to Asia Wilson. So now, Asia Wilson got to get the signature shoe. Asia Wilson got to be the next cover athlete for NBA 2K. She got to be the next cover athlete for NBA 2K. Dog, dog, listen, y'all. <laughs> listen, y'all. Y'all, the New York Liberty peed on themselves in front of their freaking fans, y'all. Y'all see my damn cover? <laughs> I'm out here, boy. I'm out here wrapped up, son. Like, like, dog, dog, listen to me. The New York Liberty pissed on themselves in front of their own fans, y'all, in New York City. All of these celebrities in attendance, y'all. All of these famous athletes in attendance. All of these dignitaries in attendance. This the only good game on TV tonight. You got MLB baseball, which nobody watches. You got some trash little college football game on tonight. And, and they had like three fans in attendance. I'm not lying. Go to Twitter right now and Google. And go to Twitter and look at this college game. It's like three people watching. I'm talking about three people in attendance. Right? So no one... This was the only... Interesting thing on TV. Y'all see Asia Wilson got it. All right. So y'all already know I got I got issues with Asia, right? But that chick is going to be the next 2K cover. She earned it. And and she's gonna get her get her Nike shoe. She earned it. Right? She earned it. Son. 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 Yo. Yo, the New York Liberty peed on themselves, y'all. The New York Liberty peed on themselves, y'all. Do y'all hear me? Do y'all hear me? Do you, no, no, no. Hold, hold up. Club Fortune. Club Fortune. We not doing that, Club Fortune. John Quo Jones always pee on herself in elimination games. 
John Quo Jones, this is going back to Connecticut. John Quo Jones, for some reason, always pee on herself in these, in these freaking elimination games. Like, like let, me, let me give you an analogy. I have to do these analogies. Okay, this is like, okay, so this game right here tonight was the most beautiful woman in the world. And she going to give you some. She going to let you have sex, right? The most beautiful, wealthiest woman in the world. And she going to let you have sex and all of that. But, like, you can't get hard or you a preemie. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you ejaculate too quick. You come too quick, right? So she lets you hit and then, and then you come too quick. You come in in, like, two minutes, right? In the 90s, they used to call y'all two-minute brothers, like, like you a preemie, you come too quick. You understand? Like you blew it, or 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 you can't get hard enough. So this beautiful chick gonna let you, like you understand, and you can't even get hard like that, right? That's that's John Quo Jones, that's Sabrina Unescu, that's the New York Liberty, right? <laughs> that's the New York Liberty. The most beautiful, wealthiest woman in the world told you you could wine and dine her and you could, you, you could smash, you could hit. You could have sex with her. You could make love to her tonight. And John Quo Jones came up soft. She couldn't get hard. Sabrina Unesco came too quick. She came in like a minute, 30 seconds. She a preemie. That's what this is. Or this is like the sexiest dude on the face of the earth. And the most wealthiest dude on the face of the face of the earth told told this woman, you could be with me and we're going to make beautiful love tonight. And then a woman got a stank vagina, her vagina stank. And she know it stank, too, because she don't take baths. She only takes showers. You understand? Like, 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 that's that's what this is. <laughs> that's what this is, man. Like, like, though, you were at home in New York City. You were in New York City, the number one market in America, the envy of the world. The world all tries to look like New York City, right? You are in freaking New York City, ESPN, the only game on TV that's worth watching tonight, okay? And you peed on yourself? You couldn't get an erection? You came in two minutes? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Listen, y'all, listen, y'all. Some of y'all say this is the universe. Some of y'all believe in God. Whether you believe in God or not, he exists. He's real. God gave you Chelsea Gray with a torn Achilles. God practically broke Kia Stoke foot. Raquana Williams strangled a girlfriend. Candace Parker been gone damn near the whole year. And you couldn't even get it done on your own home court. Kayla George missing every damn three imaginable, it seemed. You couldn't even get it done. I know Derek and Hamby sick. Yo, listen to me. I know Derek and Hamby sick. Derek was like, oh yeah, God looking out for me. He injured Chelsea Gray. He injured Kia Stokes. He not going to let Becky get no championship. Oh yeah, God looking out for me. And God was like, I tried to look out for you. These chicks stupid. <laughs> God was like, Derek, I was trying to look out for you. I, I took away Chelsea Gray. The next day I injured Kia Stokes. Them chicks still don't want to win. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Derrica Heavy, God looked out for you, Derrica. I don't want you ever doubting God. Don't lose faith in God. You still need to go to church because God was trying to look out for you. He was going to punish the aces and the New York Liberty was like, we don't give a damn. Like, we going to lose this game. Like, yo, crazy. <laughs> Candace got a free ring. Yo, that's crazy, y'all. Let me tell you something. Don't have any kids with Sabrina Unesco. Don't have any kids with John Quo Jones. Like, these kids gonna come out lame, y'all. They <laughs> gonna come out like they not gonna have no kind of clutch gene. They not gonna know how to finish. You understand what I'm saying? Like, don't have kids by these chicks, I'm telling you. <laughs> What's up, live OG? Listen, y'all. You say, no, no, listen to me, Jag. Listen to me. If you have a baby, 
By Sabrina Unescu, your baby going to come up short in big moments. He going to come up short. If you have a baby by John Quill Jones, your baby going to come up short in elimination games. Like your baby straight up going to come up short. I'm telling you what I know. Like don't have kids by these chicks. They going to come up lame, y'all. You understand? They going to punish your son. Like you going to have a son by John Quill and then like he going he gonna to be in and out of relationships because the sex bad. You going to have a son by, by Sabrina Unesco and he ain't going to have no rhythm. He ain't going to have no thrust. He ain't going to, he ain't like, he, he, listen, he ain't gonna know how to move in bed. Like, he ain't like he ain't like he gonna be trash in bed, y'all. <laughs> Your son gonna be trash in bed if you have a baby by Sabrina Unesco where he a son. I'm telling you what I know. <laughs> y'all. Y'all, if you have a son by Sabrina Unesco, your son ain't gonna have no rhythm. He gonna be trash in bed, y'all. If you have a son by John Quo Jones, he gonna be a preemie. He gonna come in two minutes or he not gonna get hard. <laughs> and them chicks gonna be leaving that dude. Tell me, he cute, but he trash in bed, y'all. I'm telling you what I know. Don't have babies by these chicks. Don't have babies by these chicks. Have a baby with Asia Wilson. That's who you need to have a baby with. Have a baby with Kelsey Plum. <laughs> have a baby with, with Jackie Young. Have a baby with Chelsea Gray. Like, don't have no kids by these chicks. You looking at right. Don't have no kids by Benai Jelani. Don't have no kids by Stewie. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like, like this is crazy, y'all. Listen to me, y'all. Please listen to me. Y'all going to put, don't have no kids by Marine Johannes. Damn sure don't have no kids by Sandy Brondello. You definitely don't want to do that. You say, can I have a baby with a white lady? Dude, 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 listen to me. Listen, nah, nah, you could, but have that baby by like Kelsey Plum. Like if you have a baby by Kelsey Plum, you good. Like Kelsey Plum going to come up. Like Kelsey straight. Don't have no kids with uh, Courtney Vandersloot. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling y'all what I know, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you what I know. That chick right there, have a baby by Asia Wilson. Have a baby by Asia Wilson. Like, Asia, Alicia Clark, all of them. <laughs> Dog, do y'all see what John Quo Jones be doing every elimination game? Do y'all have y'all noticed this going back to Connecticut? Every time Connecticut in the conference finals or the finals, when it's elimination game, John Quell be trash. Like she always do something and make them lose. <laughs> yo, yo, yeah, yeah. Two Robinson, it's a joke, y'all. It's a joke, man. Fire that chick, Sandy Brondello. Fire that chick, man. Them chicks so lame, y'all. Them chicks so lame. They lost in New York City in front of all of them people. New York was ready to celebrate. They wanted to have a parade in Times Square. They Listen, New York was going to put on for these Liberty, y'all. If the, if the Liberty would have won a championship, they was going to put on so heavy for the Liberty, y'all, in Times Square. It was going to be so crazy in Times Square, y'all. Them chicks didn't want it. That's how she got traded. Yeah, they didn't even dig deep. Nah, listen, y'all. Listen to me, y'all. Listen to me, y'all. New York was going to go real stupid for the Liberty if they won. New York City was going to lose their minds, y'all. Times Square was going to be so crazy. And these chicks didn't want none of it. Becky Hammond just got herself a lifetime contract. Becky ain't going nowhere. And the, the, listen, listen, y'all, Becky about to get a nasty raise. The Las Vegas Aces are about to make Becky Hammond the highest paid coach in WNBA history over um, Nate, Nate Tibbetts, who just got paid from the Phoenix Mercury. So you just, you just watch this. Watch what Mark Davis do. Watch what Mark Davis and Nikki Fargus do. They are about to make Becky Hammond the highest paid WNBA coach in the history of the game. They are about to trump whatever the Phoenix Mercury gave Nate Tibbetts. And this will cool everybody down from hating on Nate Tibbetts. He's qualified. If you check his resume, he qualified for real. But listen, they didn't like it that a man is the highest paid. 
So you watch what, like you just won back to back championships with a roster depleted of, of its best players, some of its best players, and you won it in New York City. Becky Hammond is about to be the highest paid coach in WNBA history. Just pay attention to what I'm talking about. I'm telling you what I know. <laughs> I don't know, but she's going to be making more than Nate Tibbetts making for the Mercury, which would make her the highest paid. You understand? Sh shout out to Satu Sabali, though. Fifth in MVP vote voting this year. Yeah, Satu, Satu peed on herself, though, against the Aces. That chick was trash. In these playoffs. Satu was trash, y'all. That chick peed on herself. She was trash. You understand? Arika Gumba Wale was trash. Like, nah, 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 nah. Satu Sabali had a good year, but she got in these playoffs and just peed on herself. That chick was trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, y'all, I told y'all the truth. When I went live, I captioned a video, fire Sandy Brondello, the New York Liberty just lost to the Las Vegas Aces. Right. It was like, what, six minutes in the fourth quarter. I knew that they lost. Right. When I when I typed in a title with this live video, like God didn't stop me. Normally, if I'm if I'm typing something wrong, if I'm doing something wrong, God will stop me. God was like, no, nah, type it. <laughs> you understand? Like, still, no, nah, so, so too straight, so too straight, so too just she was trash. She was trash in the playoffs. She was trash, man. It's okay to say a player came up short. She came up short. She need to step it up. You understand? Sabali ain't throw no series. Nah, nah, nah. We, nah, we ain't talking about Naira Sabali. We talking about Satu Sabali. When they played the Aces, that chick was breaking damn near every shot she put up. You understand what I'm saying? Look at Teresa Weatherspoon. I know Teresa pissed off. I know T Teresa, Teresa won it. Teresa wanted the Liberty to finally get one. Teresa wanted the Liberty to finally get one. Damn, y'all. That's crazy. That's crazy. Liberty going after Satu Sabali. If they, man, stop it. And don't nobody want to go play for the Liberty? Like, so, so, listen, you got to give Sandy Brondello 12 Hall of Famers? Is that what you got to do? Listen, if you gave Sandy Brondello 12 Hall of Fame players, Sandy Brondello would still lose. Sandy would still find a way to lose. Like, what more do you need? What more do you need? How many, how many superstars does Sandy Brondello need, y'all? Right? She, she just freaking had a team full of future Hall of Famers and couldn't get it done. Breonna Stewart going to the Hall of Fame. John Cole Jones going to the Hall of Fame. Courtney Vandersloot going to the Hall of Fame. Okay, the trajectory that Sabrina Unescu is on, she's going to the Hall of Fame, right? Based on what she did at Oregon and what she's doing right now in the WNBA, she's going to the Hall of Fame. But Nigel Laney is in the conversation if she keep her career going in, in a positive direction. Maureen Johannes is going to be in the French, the France Hall of Fame. Maureen Johannes. In France, she'll be in their Women's Hall of Fame. Man, your team was loaded with Hall of Fame players. What more do you need? What more do you need? You had, look, come on, like, come on, y'all. Like, come on, stop it. Who else are you going to give her? Who, who else does Sandy Brondello need, y'all? You going to load the team up with 12 future Hall of Famers? This is why I'm saying, like, you got to fire her. Sandy is not a good coach. Stop it. Sandy is not a good coach. Sandy is not a good coach. You seen what happened in the FIBA games with Australia? She got smashed. That chick got slapped in the FIBA games. Okay, slap. When the last time Sandy ever led Australia to a FIBA gold, to an Olympic gold? It, you, like, you can't, like, come on. It, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Sandy, Sandy was dominating with the Mercury because no one had a roster like the Mercury in the WNBA. And that's why they won. That's why they won. No one had uh, Candace Dupree in her prime. And that was a big roster. Candace Dupree is six foot two, right? So you had Candace Dupree in her prime. Dewana Bonner, six foot four, right? Still in her prime. At the damn, damn show, definitely was in her prime. 
right? Six foot nine BG. Diana Taurasi is six foot one, right? Like, like that whole freaking roster was loaded. Their whole damn Phoenix Mercury roster was loaded the last time they won a championship, right? Like, come on, man, stop it. Stop it. As soon as the Phoenix Mercury, right, lost, lost Dewana Bonner and Candace Dupree, right, and Donna Taurasi got really long in a tooth, she fell off a cliff. She couldn't do anything, right? She goes to the Liberty last year. You got a better roster than Walt Hopkins ever had, and you still couldn't get it done. So then they circumvent the salary cap and load you up with John Quo Jones and Courtney Vandersloot and Brianna Stewart and Kayla Thornton, all of these players, and you still peed on yourself. You still peed on yourself. Like, what are we doing here, y'all? What are you doing here? There's no way Sandy is a good coach. You can't, you can never tell me Sandy is a great coach. What has she done for Australia? Let's talk about the Australian national team. What has she done for them? They can't get gold. What has she done for them in the Olympics? They can't get gold. What has she done since her last stint in Mercury? Nothing. Nothing. That chick overrated. Sandy's so overrated, y'all. Sandy's so overrated. Oh, yeah. Oh, so she Larry Brown. Oh, man. Like, cuz, like, that chick's so overrated, y'all. Listen, listen, I don't know where Skyler is going to go. What I can tell you is that Sandy need to get fired. Sandy Brondello needs to be fired ASAP. ASAP. Fire that chick ASAP. Fire that chick ASAP. And I know Walt Hopkins laughing right now. I know Walt Hopkins sticking two middle fingers up at the TV laughing at these people. Uh, I know Han Shu in Asia laughing right now. Han Shu like, that stupid chick. I know Han Shu is laughing like, that chick so stupid. I'm six foot ten. I'm a three-level scorer. And that chick kept me on the bench. That chick so stupid. I know Han Shu laughing at this chick right now. I know Walt Hopkins laughing at this chick right now, Right? Like, it's crazy to me. And then, listen, let me tell you who should be laughing to. Dee Dee Richards. You kept Jocelyn Willoughby over Dee Dee Richards? You kept Jocelyn Wils uh, Willoughby over six foot two lockdown defender Dee Dee Richards. What? You could have used Dee Dee tonight. Dee Dee can guard one through five. It ain't no one in the WNBA Dee Dee can't guard and shut down. Dee Dee Richards can shut down any woman in the WNBA, right? And you, you, you kept Jocelyn Willoughby over Dee Dee Richards? What? What? Listen, I think Jocelyn Willoughby sweet. I think she a cool chick. She level-headed. She stay out of trouble. But Jocelyn Willoughby is not on Dee Dee Richards' level. Dee Dee Richards... Can can initiate the offense. Now she doesn't have the crispiest handles, but she could she could still bring the ball up the court. Dee Dee Richards, I would give her a B minus to a to a B in passing. She she's got good court vision, so she could pass the basketball. She has adequate handles for the WNBA to initiate the offense. She can rebound. She can block shots. She can get steals. She can guard one through five. Right. And she has a clutch gene. And that's who you let go. You let go of a six foot two player who can literally take away your best offensive weapon. You let go of Dee Dee Richards for Jocelyn Willoughby. You kept a six foot ten three level scorer on the bench all year long. And Han Shu gave you the middle finger said, I'm, I'm going back to China. I'm going back to China. I don't need this. I don't need to be treated like this. I'm going back to China. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you said Didi was done dirty. Yeah, they could have definitely used Didi. Didi, she had injuries up. No, 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 no. Didi, Didi, Didi recovered, y'all. Didi was straight. Like, Didi was good. She wasn't injured. Didi wasn't injured. She was straight. She wasn't injured no more. You understand? Like, she wasn't injured no more. She was healthy. You understand? They just wanted to go a different route. 
They wanted to go a different route, and that's what it was, and it blew up in their face. It blew up in their face, man. Like, you could have put in, like, they talk about Mar uh, Marine Johannes can't guard nobody. Well, you would you would have had Didi in to play defense. You would have had Didi in to lock, to lock them down. Didi would have locked down Jackie Young. Didi would have locked down Jackie Young so beautifully, y'all. Like, what we doing here? What we doing here? Like, it's crazy to me, y'all. It's crazy. They even chose Epiphany. Yeah, you remember when they had Epiphany Prince out there? Epiphany just be out here stealing money. That chick be out here stealing money, man. Like, <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy, y'all. Listen, listen, y'all. I know Han Shu like, like them chicks so stupid right now. Han Shu, like that's Han Shu would have been snatching all the rebounds for Kayla George. If you would have put in Han Shu tonight, Han Shu would have had a double double tonight. She would have snatched all the rebounds from Kayla George. All of them. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me, y'all. Uh oh, here come that nasty Michelob. <laughs> here go that nasty Michelob beer they was drinking last year. Okay, they got a big old bottle of, 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 of Ace over there, but they also got that damn Michelob. So they got that Ace right there. But they, uh, look, look at that nasty Michelob. What, 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 uh, beer? Beer? <laughs> listen, listen, y'all, if you gonna drink beer, you got to drink like, like, I would say Bex. Bex is rated like the number one beer. Bex beer. Um, it's not Heineken. It's Bex beer. And then it's another beer um, that's supposed to be like, like the next level, next to Bex beer. Like, y'all like, like, y'all not supposed to be drinking Michelob. <laughs> Chicks out there drinking Michelob, y'all. Ew, man, just just drink that, just drink that champagne. Leave that. Like beer looks so tacky. Beer looks so tacky, y'all. Beer looks so you're gonna be burping. Your belly gonna swell up. You're gonna have to pee all the time. Like the, the smell of beer is disgusting. The, like the smell of beer smell like a homeless man. You understand? Beer smells like a homeless man. Beer gonna make you burp. Beer going to swell up your belly. It's going to make you pee. <laughs> and then you drinking Michelob. Michelob is generic beer to me. That's generic. Like, you need to go ahead and get you some Bex beer. That's really rated like the number one beer. And then it's another beer that's, that's rated really high. Like, drink those. Don't drink Michelob. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, listen, boy. Asia, Asia, Asia about to get drunk again. Jackie about to have about two Hennessy bottles in her hand like she did last year coming off that butt, coming off of that um, little parade thing. Like, yo, I know, yo, 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 I know them Gamecock fans going dumb right now. I ain't even on Twitter right now, but I know they going dumb right now. You can't tell them nothing. You can't tell. And listen, I know right now they tweeted Nike, give her her shoe right now. Give Asia her shoe right now. Apologize for giving Sabrina Ionescu a shoe. And listen, th like that, that was bad. That was bad, like bad energy, a bad omen. Why, why did Sabrina Ionescu wear her shoes tonight, but the color wave was the, the Seattle Storm? Why did she put on a Seattle Storm color wave tonight? Hold up, did y'all see that? Her shoes. Were, were the Seattle Storm color tonight. Why wouldn't you wear Seafoam? Well, like, like, why didn't you wear New York Liberty colors? Why did you wear Seattle Storm colors for your shoes? Sabrina's stupid, y'all. That chick's so stupid. Oh, man, that chick's stupid. Sabrina Unesco's shoes tonight were the Seattle Storm colors. Like, it's, this is an, an elimination game. Wear the New York Liberty colors for you. Like, don't don't have your shoes Seattle Storm colors. That was like that was a bad omen. That was that was like bad luck right then, like right then. You understand? And then and then listen. 
Oh, Oregon, Oregon. Oh, damn, I completely forgot about that. My bad, you right. But still, so what? You ain't in college no more. Forget all of that. You didn't do nothing at Oregon any damn way. I could see you wearing Oregon colors in game five or something, but in a, come on, like, like, she didn't do nothing in Oregon anyway except get a bunch of triple doubles and break records, but it's not like she won a championship. You understand? Like, I could, like, like, I could see if you were Asia Wilson and, and wore your little South Carolina Gamecock colors because Asia got a championship there. You understand? Sabrina didn't win no championship there. You understand? Like, you should have wore the Liberty colors. You understand? Asia slammed the door on the MVP convo. Oh, yes, yeah, Stewie. First of all, there was no way Stewie should have won MVP, period. That should have went to Alyssa Thomas in the discussion, right? It should have went to Alyssa, and then second should have been Asia Wilson, right? Stewie should have never even been mentioned. Stewie should have never even been in a conversation for um for uh, MVP. Period. In the discussion, she should have never been in a conversation at all. It should have been Nafisa Collier. It should have been Alyssa Thomas, Asia Wilson, and Nafisa Collier. What Nafisa Collier did this year, after having that beautiful baby, don't Nafisa Collier got probably the most beautiful baby in the world? I think Nafisa Collier has probably the most beautiful baby in the world, okay? So it, it should have been Alyssa Thomas, Asia Wilson, and Nafisa Collier. Brianna Stewart should have never even been mentioned, but they tried to do, do that for the WNBA Finals, right? To build up the WNBA Finals. That's why they gave it to uh, Brianna Stewart. Stop it. Stewie is a fraud. Alyssa should have won MVP. Oregon would have won if it, well, some people say, first of all, in 2020, that team South Carolina had, they were running through everyone. I disagree with that. I, did, I, I think South Carolina was going to clip them. South Carolina was running through everyone. Like, Don Staley was going to win that. Like, I disagree. I, th I think Don was going to run, just going to run it. She was going to run it. You understand? I disagree with that. And I'm not a Don Staley fan. I'm not a South Carolina Gamecock fan. I'm a Mississippi State fan. You understand? But I just think, I, looking at that year, it looked like South, it looked like South Carolina couldn't be stopped. It, it just looked like they couldn't be stopped. You understand? So, what, like, woulda, coulda, shoulda, right? Nafisa, beautiful, that's why. Nah, Nafisa, Nafisa probably got one of the most beautiful kids on the face of the earth. But but li listen, y'all, this is, this is after Nafisa just had that baby, y'all. Nafisa just had a baby, and she brought a team that no one ever in their life thought would, would be in the playoffs this year. Everyone thought that they were going to get Caitlin Clark or Paige Beckers. Everyone thought the, that, that the Minnesota Lynx would have the worst record in the WNBA next to the Seattle Storm. And that the Minnesota Lynx and the Seattle Storm would be fighting it out to see who was going to get Caitlin Clark or Paige Beckers. And the Fisa Collier got them all the way to the playoffs. That, that, that's one of your MVPs over, over Stewie. Stewie is on a loaded team, a Hall of Fame team. Stewie is on a freaking Olympic team, y'all. Come on, stop playing with me. Ain't no way in hell Stewie should have even been third on the list over Nafisa Collier. Period. End of discussion. Some people might even make a case Nafisa should have been behind Alyssa Thomas. Right? Because of the degree of difficulty to do what she did after having a baby. So it should have been Alyssa Thomas, Nafisa Collier, and then Asia Wilson. Because Asia didn't just have a baby. Right. Nafisa just had a baby with a terrible roster and got them to the playoffs. So I'm just saying, y'all listen to me. No, no, I got to go, man. I only got one percent on this phone. I'm out of here. Y'all take care. God bless. God bless. Becky Hammond about to get paid. Watch. Listen, y'all. She going to be the most the highest paid women's basketball coach in the WNBA. You just 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 watch this. Remember, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. They about to outdo what the Phoenix Mercury did with Nate Tibbetts. They're going to make her the highest paid. Just watch. You heard it here first.